Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download a Timber data pack on your server. This data pack allows you to instantly chop down a tree just by breaking one of the logs with an axe. Firstly, you can use the slash trigger timber toggle command to turn the data pack on or off. When it's on, you just have to grab any axe and break the bottom log of the tree for the whole tree to be destroyed. However, if you don't break the bottom log, the blocks underneath will stay. If you want to configure the settings for the data pack, you can do that by using the command slash function timber help. That'll pop up with the chat prompt where you can press on the click here for settings text. There are two pages of settings you can navigate through. To turn a setting on, simply press it so a green arrow appears. If you want to turn a setting off, click on it so a red X appears. For example, before configuring settings, if you sneak and break a block, the whole tree doesn't come down. But if you enabled the works when sneaking setting, the whole tree now comes down even if you're sneaking. On the second page of configurations, you can also set the max tree size, time and ticks between traps, and other helpful options. However, if you're curious to know how you too can download this data pack, I'll be showing you how to do so in the next segment, so stay tuned. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. Scroll down to where it says Timber Data Pack and click it, then press continue to be redirected to this page. Simply wait a couple seconds and press skip. You'll be redirected to a Mediafire page, so all you have to do then is press download for your data pack zip to be downloaded. To make the next step easier, we recommend you move this zip to a place where you can easily access, for example, your desktop. For this step, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. As of now, the website states it's for 1.15 to 1.18, but this may change in the future, so please check before continuing. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Firstly, I'll be showing you how to upload the data pack onto a world you've already created. This data pack does doesn't require you to make a new world, but if you're interested in that, I'll be showing you how to create a brand new world with the data pack enabled after. Firstly, what you're going to do is head to the Files tab, click on the World folder, and then the Data Packs folder. Here's where you're going to drag the Timber Data Pack zip you downloaded at the beginning of the video. And that's it, the data pack is uploaded onto your world. However, if you're interested in creating a brand new world with the data pack enabled, you're going to want to head to the Worlds tab. Here's where you're going to create a brand new world. World. You can set your world name and adjust world settings as usual, just make sure the world name doesn't have spaces or special characters. However, below you'll also see a button labelled Upload Data Packs. Simply click the Select Files button and then navigate to the area where you save the Timber Data Pack zip to. Once you've found it, press Open and then Create World. It'll take a second for the files to upload, but when that's done, you should go into the Files tab. Double click on your world folder and then go into the Data Packs folder. If you see the data pack zip inside, it means you follow these steps correctly. All you have to do now is log into your server to experience the new additions. You can do this by heading to the dashboard and copying the host name. Afterwards, quickly launch your Minecraft application, and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click Add Server, and in the Server Address section, paste the host name. Now when you join the server, you'll be able to chop trees down a lot faster than usual. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from my channel. Thank you for watching.